Hello everyone, this is OldDogman07 here, and welcome back to the channel. This time I am going to be covering my 15th manga review. It's been a while, I know. But this time we're going to be covering the manga The Bride Was a Boy, and it's a, a true story mm, written by um the actual person who went through all everything that's within the the book and I'm sure this couldn't cause a lot of uproar in certain comments because we all know how things are in regards to the LGBTQ but when it comes to my stance I just want to put it out there the LGBT deserves peace freedom and equality just like everyone else Especially in the United States, because we all know what happens in regards to the LGBT. There's a bunch of crimes against them, and it's still glossed over a lot in media, especially in video games. And the only time when I see it actually talked about is within anime or manga, and we're going to be covering a manga that covers certain topics in regards to LGBT and what it's like to be a trans woman so and just a note I am not sponsored by the people who made this manga I'm just making a review of it and putting my thoughts out there for it and if you want to get any more information you get the spine here as always It'll focus this fucking camera on my phone. Doesn't like to focus sometimes, I swear. But that's the spine. And here's the back with the uh, the little comic panels on the back so you can get uh, an idea of what it's like on inside of the, in the actual book to get an idea of what you're reading. And then you get the synopsis. Or a quick summary, whatever you want to call it. And then you get the price. But it doesn't focus properly, so I have to tell you. Which is, uh... The price for the, the United States version of the book is $13.99. And then in Canada, you can get the book for $16.99. And it's rated teen. And then you also get the, uh... The companies that worked on it and the website name and it says it's distributed by Macmillan and it doesn't want to focus that well so I have to leave it at that oh so it focuses like that but when I get up close it's all fucking blurry and shit fuck you fuck my iPhone <laughs> but um yeah so I'm gonna be reviewing the Bride Was a Boy, and I hope you guys will enjoy my review of it. Now, first off, with this manga, I found it to be pretty educational. And the reason why is because the creator, or the author of it, she, she did pretty fucking well with regards to, like, um, how, like, uh, everything goes in regards to like how it is growing up as a trans woman and how love life can be difficult in certain situations and how you can learn how to handle specific questions and such as right here she brings up certain questions that are pretty frequently asked and this is something that I really like because she actually goes into detail about a lot of these questions. Even if some things are kind of not really talked about that much, she at least takes note of them, which is something I really like. And another thing I really like is the art style. It's very cute, chibi, and it's honestly really, really cute and adorable, and it helps bring more people into it to learn about the various topics that 
need to be discussed in regards of the LGBT. And I just love this artwork so much, especially right here. And this is the English version, so if you do like um want to check out uh any LGBT themed books out there, then this is one I can highly recommend purely for its education value, its production value, and as well as the the general topic that's being discussed because it's been handled pretty well in this book. Well, I keep calling it a book, but I could also call it a monk, but you know what I mean. But, um, it goes over her life about how she learned about gender identity disorder. And then it all came subtle, suddenly to her, where it was like, so that's what I felt like this whole time growing up. And... I just ended up getting engaged with her because this is shit that she had to go through. And when she found out about what Gid was, it was really impactful on her. And with her writing style and the, uh, the art style, it really helped deliver her real emotions that she felt at the time. And honestly, I think she did... A really great job with the artwork as well as um the production of the book not to mention um her husband had some parts of playing it as well and honestly it was really good and if the camera seems like it's shaking right now it's because i have to do the fucking phone recordings again because <laughs> i don't have a fucking playstation camera to use anymore to do the monk reviews so i have to do it like this Plus, it's late at night right now, so I'm trying not to be too loud, but I'm not pretty sure no one can hear me. But, yeah. And it also goes over, like, um, like, uh, stuff about her surgery and whatnot, which I won't share too much details on, even though I could, but I don't think I want to, just to be safe and all. But, um,. Yeah, this manga review had some really good points that were talked about. And the main thing with the education is um, it goes over how you can answer certain questions or how you can learn how to answer certain questions. And you can also learn about the different, uh, like, um, the different terms in the LGBT or specifically the trans community. Such as having to, like, uh, on the go SRS if you choose to do so. If you're trans or, like, want to do something like that with your life, then it's up to you if you want to go with a sexual reassignment surgery. Which, one thing I love about the education points is that she not only does regular, like, manga-style panels to give out the information... She also goes over the information in just a small set of two paragraphs. And it's really cool because the reader has two options of gaining the information in this one-stop shop of a manga that goes over this person's life as a trans woman. And it was really well done how she put in these two different ways to give the reader information on a topic that should be discussed. And it was really cool that she even decided to do that. And honestly, I wouldn't have mind if she just had either just the manga panels or just the paragraphs to give the information, but instead she did both. And that's honestly really damn good because it can help give the reader different ways to learn and if they don't like regular reading like just through paragraphs then they have the manga panels to go about which is really well done that she even had that kind of inclusion and 
and um, I don't want to spoil too much, but um, I should have said spoilers at the beginning, god damn it. But um, the art style really helps capture some of the emotions that were felt by both um, husband Kuhn and um, Chi herself. And I thought it was really well done. And in regards to the education, the art style can also really help with how she draws the, uh, the character to provide specific information, especially in the manga panels. And then uh, when it comes to titling, like um, the little explanation bits, it's some pretty cute artwork, and it helps really grab the viewer so they can, or not viewer, but reader, so they can continue to learn about these kinds of things. And it also goes over, like, a, like a, certain things in regards to being, like, a, uncomfortable in certain situations. Like a booking a flight to go ahead and get over to a place to get the SRS if you choose to do so, which is what she ended up doing. And then um, it also goes over how things might feel when you go through the changes. And um, it seemed like she had hard times but she was able to pull through and and get together herself and um push forward and really get out there and, and complete her mission practically and just accomplish what she wanted to do because this is practically who she saw herself as and she wanted to pretty much just complete that goal of hers and I honestly feel really happy for her and it's a really interesting story because it also goes over like a uh, certain name callings like uh being called homosexual homo and gay and stuff like that and I really loved it when I saw these different sections because the more I read the more I felt engaged because she keeps putting in these different manga panel sections with the small little art bits in between them to show what the reader will be learning about and the more they learn about it as they read the more engaged they get as so happened with my experience reading this while I was on vacation in Washington State to do some Thanksgiving stuff, as well as Black Friday shopping, which Black Friday is just crazy. But um, I had read this while I was doing all that, and it was honestly pretty great. Okay, it's still recording. Okay, good. But um. Yeah, I really loved how it went over everything that a trans person can go through because it really highlights some of the issues or how uncomfortable one can get in regards to these topics, which is understandable. Stuff like that can really hurt someone emotionally or it can really affect them mentally. And you never know who it could be. It could be someone close to you and whatnot. And then... When you learn about the issues that they go through, then it's like, well, shit, I should have been there for them. I should have asked more questions. I should have actually been there. And it's honestly really sad that so many trans people, especially trans women, often get murdered for wanting to be who they want to be. And they often get accused of being child predators when that's not the case. They are not child predators at all. In fact, it's quite the opposite. 
but there's still a lot of bigots out there that don't seem to realize that. And there's already a bunch of evidence online that proves all of it. But yeah. And uh, there's more um, sections like this that show off the different bits of information that you should know in regards to certain terms, such as gender identity disorder. And honestly, this was all done pretty well. And I'd say this is, manga is honestly one I can recommend the most. And the art style I just really love. Like, I can't get over it. And um, honestly, I think, I, I think it's best if you guys at least recommend this manga yourself. Because I don't want to keep flipping through the pages and spoiling everything. But I kind of got to flip through some of the pages anyway to give my review for this manga. Because I don't want to do a manga review and then just say, Oh, I didn't read it or I didn't really finish it, but I want to do a review anyway. Fuck that. I want to go through the entirety of the product before I even review it. Because otherwise, it's not a complete review and it's unfinished and unprofessional. So that's why I decided to go ahead and finish the things that I like to do, such as playing a video game, and then decide to review it. Because by then, I have the exact amount of knowledge I need to know about the game in order to review it. Or in this case, a manga. And so then... I just ended up reading through all of this, and it was honestly pretty cool. Because it really went over the various different topics that I've been wanting to learn about for practically practically the past, like, a, a year and three months or something like that. Or, no, like, year and five months or something? Well, either way, I've been trying to learn about all this stuff because I never really learned much about it growing up, especially during high school, because they don't bother to teach you any of this shit. So it's like, what the fuck? But thankfully, we've got people out there like Chi, for example, who write these books and do pretty well and end up educating more and more people about these topics, which is really well done. Especially when it's done in art forms like this. And honestly, I really am proud of her for coming out like this. Because this is really cool. And then she goes over like um the term LGBT. Which is an acronym that's used as pretty much a shorthand for practically a different amount of sexual out sexualities and genders and it then continues to go on and on about it and as always there's two different ways that she brings in the topic for the reader to learn about either through manga form or just regular paragraphs like you'd see in a normal novel and it was done really well something i really enjoyed and Honestly, I can't recommend it enough. And that is where I think I should just end the manga review. Because I don't want to spoil too much. It's already 18 minutes of a video anyway. But, uh, yeah. This was my manga review of The Bride Was a Boy. True story and art by Chi. And, uh, I highly recommend that all of you check out this manga. And do know that, well, obviously this covers trans topics and topics in regard to the LGBT. So if it's something that you might not be too comfortable with, maybe wait on getting it or like um, try to learn more about it so you can see how things are so you can get a better idea of everything instead of just assuming things. And... If I were to give this manga a score, I don't think I'd want to or could because I don't think I'd want to put a score or something like this because one, this is pretty much a biography 
of the person who actually went through all this. And, um, I'll just say that, um, in terms of artwork, um, storytelling and education this time, I'd say that this manga is easily worth the price for what it's being offered for $13.99 in the United States and then $16.99 in Canada. This manga deserves to be picked up at any bookstore that you may come across. And if you see this book in or manga in stores near you, feel free to pick it up and just say Wolfdog107 sent you. <laughs> because honestly, this manga is really fucking awesome. And so far, it's been one of my favorites. And honestly, I think that, uh, that I'm honestly pretty tr proud of Chi for going through all of this because being able to write a book like this and come out at the same time as trans, that's not pretty easy at all. It's practically pretty difficult, especially considering what many other trans women and trans men also have to go through. And it's really difficult for the trans community in general because a lot of them, as I said, get murdered or beat or discriminated against, whichever you want to, whichever way you want to put it. And obviously, by as you can tell by the end of this video, I'm the supporter and an ally of the trans community. But yeah. I hope that um you guys enjoyed this manga review and feel free to tune in again next time. Um but if you want my my score rating for this manga, as much as I don't want to do that do that, I'll give one to you guys anyway since I'm sure some people will still be curious to see how I would rate it in terms of numbers. So, for artwork, I'm going to have to give it a 5 out of 5. In terms of education, I'm going to have to give it a 5 out of 5 as well. And then, the, uh, the storytelling, I'm going to have to give it a 5 out of 5 again. Well, practically, let's just say I don't, I'm not going to give it numbers at all because I don't really believe in giving a, a manga or a book a numbers as a rating. And especially if, like, only if it's, like, a, bi a biography or something like that. Especially in regards of this manga volume, since it's a biography of Chi, technically speaking. So, I'd rather not give it points as a score or a review score or anything like that. I'm just going to say that in terms of education, artwork, and storytelling, it's honestly pretty damn good. And it really covers some much needed topics that need to be discussed. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed. And again, feel free to um, check out this manga in your, in your local stores. Here's the synopsis once again. The various manga panels on the back. And then there's the price. And the... Uh, Seven Seas Entertainment LLC watermark, as well as the website watermark, and the uh, the Macmillan watermark right there. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to tune in again, and I'll be back again next time with another stream. And by the time this uh, this is up, I'll probably have already done like a one of the streams already, or maybe I've just put it up early. Um, I probably will anyway. But yeah, this is Wolfdog107, and I hope I'll see you guys again. Peace out, Wolfdog out.